you got Fox here. It's Sunday, you know what that means. Mailbag day. It's a little different today. I'm going to do some pack pulling in the background instead of gameplay. As you'll notice from my last pack pulls, I had about 32 pro packs left after you... What was that? Friday. So, here they are today. So, sponsor today is soft drinks. Good for drinking, but not for throwing. They don't cause enough damage. So, we start off with a rather uninspiring pack, but... All right, next first question. What's the best way to waste coin? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, let's switch not to this pro pack. Uh, well, we'll do it after this pro pack and its uh, cards. So we can down to 30 after this. So here is the best way to waste coins. Do a beast set and buy some of the gold players and try to get the elite. And so here is the pack. So I'll open it. Today's pack opening. Let's see what I can get. As you know from my personal voice, it is... Not good. Prince Amukumar. I lost quite a bit of funds off that one. Um, but moving on to next question. Josh McDonald asked, My mom wants to know if this video is too scary for me. Well, mothers really care for your bones. And if you updated the video like I asked you to, the spooky pack opening, uh, then you'll have calcium for the rest of your life. So that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, let's move on to predicting some games before this... Uh, whatever. Video ends. Whatever. Before this video ends, uh, we'll, we'll predict the games for this week, and then at the end we'll answer the rest of the questions. Well, if there are any other questions, I'll go through the newest on Ask Reddit and read them off the top of my head and try to answer you if I have time left over for this pack opening. All right, so Buffalo at Jacksonville. Jacksonville is giving... Wait, right, Buffalo's giving 5.5. I'm still taking Buffalo. I think they can cover 5.5 pretty easily. Uh, Minnesota at Detroit. Detroit is the dog. A home dog against Minnesota? I'm taking Detroit. Um, you don't like to see home dogs. I think that's a pretty easy one. Uh, Atlanta at Tennessee, three and a half. I'm taking Atlanta. Why three and a half? Um, seems low. New Orleans at Indianapolis. Although Atlanta just get to, just to get uh, beat by New Orleans. Anyways, I'll take Indy at home against New Orleans getting four and a half points. Pittsburgh at Kansas City. Pittsburgh's giving two, and I'll still take them. Landry Jones looks solid, you know. Maybe our boy Dre Archer can return one for a touchdown here. Um, Cleveland at St. Louis. Let's see. St. Louis is giving five and a half at home. This one's a tough one. So I'll, I'll take the favorite. I'll take St. Louis and home against Cleveland. Although I feel iffy about that one. Did I? Oh, I went. Uh, was it seven and five last week? So that brings my overall record to twenty-one and twenty-one. Uh, but again, bet against me. Uh, I'm just barely making up ground on that. You know, first week I did it where I did it off the top of my hand. I was six and ten. Anyways, getting back to the games. Houston at Miami. Houston's getting four and a half points, and I'll take them. I'll take Houston. New York Jets at New England Patriots. New England is favored by nine points. I bet against New England last week, uh, giving a lot of points to Indianapolis, and it worked out for me for a late junk time touchdown. Uh, thankfully, swung the game in my favor. Made me 7-5 instead of 6-6. Six and six. Uh, But I will take the favor this time. I'll take New England, even though last week it paid off for me going the other way. All right, Tampa Bay at Washington. Washington's giving three and a half. I'll take the points with Tampa Bay. Oakland at San Diego. I'm gonna take San Diego, even though they're favored by four. Da that was a tough. That was a tough decision. I'll say in that game. Um, Oakland, you know, young team. They're sexy, but I always bet against the exciting teams. And well, the young, really young and exciting teams. San Diego looked good. Philip Rivers passing for um, I don't know about a mile in yards last week. Dallas at the Giants. Dallas is getting three and a half. Although I was, I'm thinking about Dallas. I'm thinking about taking Dallas here, but uh, just oh, whatever. I'll take the points. I'll take the dog. Philadelphia at Carolina. Give me Philly. Getting three and a half. They've had some convincing wins. Baltimore at Arizona. I will take seven and a half points and Baltimore, even though Arizona is a superior team by a distance. So let's go to the funniest. Uh, on Ask Reddit, and I accidentally just closed it. Um, all right, new on Ask Reddit. What TV show are you ashamed of having seen every episode of? Ashamed of the TV shows. I can't 
think of any. And this is why I pre-screen uh, most Sunday mailbags, so I don't get things like this. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, if I find a bad show, I give up after a couple episodes. I usually wait for people to watch it first and tell me that it's good. All right, next one. What's the most common first name for people you know? Jaden. Jaden, definitely Jaden. If you could choose two artists to collab a song together, who would you choose? Uh, Lady Gaga and Paul McCartney. Although I feel like they already do something together. Anyways, how do you handle being a failure in your parents' eyes while your sibling can do no wrong? Uh, alcohol. That one was easy. Green grapes or purple grapes? Sour grapes. Serious, what do you fear? Oh, that's a serious question. I can't answer serious questions. What do I fear? Um, then I think I saw one on the front page for this. They said Alzheimer's. I can't get that out of my mind now. Alzheimer's, yeah, that's fear. But that was that was a couple days ago. I feel like cheating there. Uh, why is Katie Kirk referenced in pop culture all the time? Because she is in pop culture. Um, there's a Dota 2. Well, Dota 2, no. Um, Reddit, do you tell the lie or provoke the sustained belief? <laughs> <laughs> what? I got it. Uh, um, yes. <laughs> That's a great question. All right, you have to choose one day of your life to live on repeat for the rest of eternity. What day would you choose? Um, what, uh, it was March 13th, and I forgot the year. Um, it's over a decade ago. So, what is something you're not best at but still have fun doing? What is something you're not best at but still have fun doing? Um, let's see, eating. Yeah, eating, I guess. I'm, I'm not a competitive eater, but I still really enjoy myself. All right, what are you obsessed about and why? That one's not really done well. Um, obsessed, I'd say Madden. I spend probably be, uh, probably about 12 hours a day thinking about Madden or reading it. I am. Anyways, moving on. What movie title sounds weird, sexy, offensive, if you really think about it, out of context? Um, the Big Lebowski? Um, a movie that sounds... What's something I... Anyways, most movies are puns. I, I, I don't have anything good for you there. Off the top of my head. Adventure Time? No, that's not a movie. Um, Alright, moving on. I, I, I got nothing for you there. I'm not that sharp. Have I been fooled again? Are you the who? Food enthusiast of Reddit, of Reddit, what is the first dish you learned to cook and how did it taste like? Um, well, I'm a food enthusiast. What's the first dish I learned to cook? Probably a steak. Um, great. Salt the hell out of it. It's probably overcooked. Like I like my steaks back then. Reddit, what gift is fun for the kids but annoying for parents? Um, Vuvuzelas. Vuvuzelas, definitely. What brings you true happiness? Uh, amazing packs. Amazing packs. What are your thoughts on criticism? Um, you know, I think it's good. To a point. Unless you're criticizing me. Then it's not good. You shouldn't do that. Question yourself. Are you questioning your belief that America is the only good guy since Russia has attacked ISIS? No. Alright, I hit 1200 items. That means the video's over. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.